Hello everyone, this is Priya Ahmadi, PhD in Mechanical Engineering. Today I'm going to show you how to link engineering equation solve software with transis software. So as you know, ES, uh, which stands for engineering equation solver, is a really powerful tool for thermodynamic system analysis and also doing uh, energy, exergy and exergy economic analysis for various type of energy system. Uh, on the other side, Francis, which is developed by Wisconsin University, is another uh, useful and powerful tool for the analysis and assessment of transient based renewable energy system. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to link uh, ES with Francis. Okay, so uh, the application of these uh, these methods is, for example, let's assume that you have developed and uh, your own code in ES, then you're going to use and add some like solar energy systems or uh, thermal energy stores on that one, and you're not going to uh, develop your own code in transits, and you're going to just, you know, link these two uh, pieces of software. Okay, let me just pull up the uh, transit software here. Uh, if I clean, uh, click on uh, Simulation Studio, uh, as I already told you in the previous videos, I just click on empty transit projects, then I hit the uh, uh, create. Okay, in this case, what I'm gonna do, so here, as an example, I'm trying to uh, draw a saturation temperature when pressure varies for water from 100 kilopascal to 200 kilopascal in transit and uh, get the data from uh, engineering equation solver and to draw this um, curve in engineering equation solver. So the problem here is uh, simple. First of all, I need something to vary and to change pressure. In this case, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use, I'm going to just use a uh, new equation here. I just, you know, sketch here. If I double click on this one, I will write pressure here. Then what will happen? I need, I need to link ES from, uh, I, I need to call ES in Francis. In this case, I need to go to utilities here. Let me just uh, find it. Calling external programs. Then it is uh, under calling external programs. You will see engineering equation solver then i will go to call es every time then i just drag this uh, uh, type 66a here and uh, i have it here i just you know close those uh, those items there then what i'm gonna do here is uh, click on this uh, calculator what i'm gonna do here i'm just create a variable here I call it with P so in this case P is gonna change then one of the one of the methods is to call P and vary P with respect to time because as you know in transit software we can change time from zero hour to uh, couple hours and even a month and even a year so in this case, P, I'm going to set it as, uh, as a variable which changes with respect to time. That's it. Then, so what I'm going to do, since I'm going to draw the figure for the uh, saturation temperature for water in engineering equation solver, I need the plotter. I go to output here. I will find uh, online plotter under output. Then I will go to online plotter with file. I will select no units because I'm not gonna use the units here. I'm just gonna uh, draw the the figures here. Okay. So in this case, what I'm gonna do, I need to just connect all these three components. I will find this connector here. Uh, I will select the pressure. I will just click on that one and just try to uh, connect to this input, which is trying to call. Uh, ES in transit. So the input which is going to uh, be considered for this uh, connection between transit and ES, I'm just gonna uh, link these to one. So it means that this uh, connection between transit and ES requires one input, in this case, uh, which is pressure. 
then I'm gonna close this one here. And then, in order to get the, uh, the output, which is the saturation temperature in this case, I'm gonna uh, connect this output to the left axis variable here, then I'm gonna just close that one. Then uh, let me try something else. I would like to uh, draw pressure in this, uh, in this method as well uh, to, to look at the te saturation temperature and pressure simultaneously. Therefore, in this case, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just link and add a line from pressure to the, out, uh, to the uh, online uh, plotter. Then I'm going to just consider P to be in the right axis. Then I will link it to the right axis. Then I hit OK and everything is fine here. Then uh, I need to go to is software. OK, that, that's that's. That's it about the uh, transit software. And then, right now, what I'm going to do, I need to calculate the, the specification ES. Then, I need to open an ES file here. So, I need to import and export data. So, in this case, what you need to do, if you click on this health button here, then uh, in the index, type uh, import to find the comment here. I just hit uh, display, I just display this one here, then what you can see here, you can see that one, I need to copy this one here, then what I'm going to do here, all the variables and all the notations are described here, I'm not going to go in details, for more information you can read this part, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy this one here, and uh, put it here as you can see here the variable one variable two and all the way down to the to the end I'm gonna just you know uh, clean this part here okay let me clean this part here so in the file name what I'm gonna do I'm gonna write clipboard clipboard then uh, in this case what is the input is pressure I just define it as pressure so I'm going to calculate the saturation temperature when pressure varies from any given data. What I'm going to do, I will go to option, function information, uh, from these items I will select thermophysical properties, then in the left side you will see the thermophysical properties, while on the other side you will see the working flow. In this case I will type uh, W, which stands for water in this case, in the, in the left side, I will try to find the saturation temperature, which uh, is represented by T sat, and the unit is a degree Celsius. If I hit this, uh, this bottom here, then uh, if, if I assume that I have the pressure, pressure is going to be here, and we all know from thermodynamic backgrounds that if I'm in the saturation region, with one properties, I can calculate the uh, saturation uh, temperature. Then, in order to export the data, uh, I need to go to this help again. Then I will uh, type dollar sign with export. Then I will just click on the export here. Then the comment here is this one. I will copy and, uh, and at the same time I will find this one. As you can see, there are several notation here A, C, D. They are all defined in the help. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to clean all these variables here but i will show you that i need to keep this c why because in some cases when i use the clipboard uh, i need to just you know uh, clean the clipboard be, be, before going to the next step so in this case the file name i will remove it to uh, clipboard and what i'm gonna get as an output is t saturation then i will just uh, paste it here. Then, in order to examine and calculate it, let's just comment uh, 100. Then, I will just copy this one here, Control plus C. Then, I will run it here. Then, I will see the uh, the result which is given here. So, it means that this uh, ES code works uh, perfectly. Then what I'm going to do, I need to save this ES file in a folder or any uh, uh, or in any given location. So let's save this file. I already allocated the uh, desktop with the ES transits. I will save it in 
uh, two I will call it as a test here I will just save it here that's all about that this one here so in this case let's get back to the transits in the transits if you click on type 66 a let's remove that one uh, let's call it uh, EES in tra in transis or uh, or better it is better to call it ES for example in this case for now I leave it uh, as ES I click on this one let's let's review all the parameters and input and output data so input I'm gonna just leave you that one if you look at this one input mode if you click on more you will read the description what you need to do I'm not gonna go in the details uh, all the details are given in the help or you can just click on the more option to see that one. so input I have how many inputs does the ES mode require so in this case since I'm just gonna change the pressure I as uh, I set it as one variable and output you can just you know change all the outputs up to 20 outputs because in this case number of output is set to be 20 so you can change it but so it doesn't matter if you leave it as 20 so most important part most important part is here okay these just you know keep in your mind these two uh, two places are really important for us one is this one where is es or is located so what is really important you need to find the address on your laptop or computer where es is installed so in this case i will go to uh i will go to my computer here then i will go to uh this uh, function here and i will find is and i will copy this is here in this case then i will i will copy this one here then since i need to run it i will just add ees.exe as an exe file so in uh, in addition to this for the second part it is asking where is the es file to be run located this is this is about the where my es file is saved on my computer so as i already uh, saved it here it was in uh, folder b i just click on this one here and i copy this here i just want to use it here i just put it in uh, this quotation then i will change and i will add it as test.eeS okay that's all about this one here so it means that in this case it tries to find the location of es which is given and which is provided and uh, in addition to that it tries to find the location for the code that i developed so that's about this one here so in this case i have all of this option if i click on the the online plotter uh, special calls uh, left axis was the uh, left axis if you remember was the saturation pressure uh, saturation sorry temperature uh, i just call it t sat uh, and i put it as degree celsius in this case and the right side axis title was the pressure i just change it as uh, pressure here or you can just leave it as uh, is but so um, it is for the, the typical value so it is pressure and that's it external file i'm not going to use it here so i'm not going to change it anyways but if you want to rename it you can just you know change the name and you can save it on your uh, computer then in this case i need to change pressure i will go to this setting i just click on the setting so in this case time which is represented here in hour is tr is is a kind of representation of the pressure so as the example asks the the pressure is trying to uh change from 100 kilopascal to let's say 200 kilopascal and the step size is one hour so and uh, so since this is just trying to vary the pressure uh, it's not gonna affect this January or any date you will try to find because the pressure is trying to change from 100 to 200 regardless of the time I will just click that one then I will try to run uh, this one and hit the run button to see what is going on so as you can see here the the red line uh, underneath the 
purple one is the variation of the saturation temperature and the purple one as you can see which was defined to the right side axis is the variation of pressure from 100 kilopascal to 200 kilopascal then let's wait to to finish this uh, graph then i will show you uh, some little uh, information then uh, that's all about this one if i want to i just click no if i want to change the the background to white i will go to plot option i will hit uh the white uh balance then so pressure if i click on the purple one i'm got, just going to remove remove the mm, the pressure line so this one here is the saturation temperature in this case as i already told you in engineering equation solver and transit if i just select this area you're going to magnify that one and compare the data for the better understanding of the uh, system so in this case that's that's done the problem is done and you can what you can do you can just you know develop your own es code uh, as long as you can uh, regardless of the type of the system it could be gas turbine power plant it could be a hydrogen production unit or it could be a desalination membrane uh, desalination and any type of uh, energy system that you can consider and uh, you can link it with uh, the transit software as discussed in this video hope you have uh, enjoyed uh, this uh, this uh, this practice in this case i will i will uh, try to just you know prepare other uh trances uh videos for you and just you know keep you updated uh, thank you very much and uh, all the best